Hey everybody, Game Master Cody here, and now we are going to tag the super bonus round for Spyro 3. First, let's look at the Atlas. I'll go ahead and show you all the uh, skill points in Epilogue first. I got all the skill points. There were two in Sony Villa, the tree, skateboard, symbol Tiki Heads, and Supercharged and Molten Crater. Catch the Chicken and Seashell Shore. Lie to the Pedestal and Icy Peak, Enchanted Tower Skate Record, Spooky Swamp Piranha Sign, Sergeant Bird's Base, Bombing the Gophers. Bros and Altars beating the Eddie in two rounds, which is the toughest one in the game for sure. Good luck on that one if you haven't done it yet. Lost Fleet, Skateboard Record Time, pretty easy. Finding Agent 9's Power Up in Fireworks Factory, which is always fun. And the two in Charmed Ridge was the Impossible Tower and Shooting the Temple Windows. And Bentley's Outpost was pushing the box off the cliff. And then in Desert Ruins, it was Destroy All the Seaweed. Haunted Tomb was another easy one, Swimming to the Dark Hole. Dino Mines had two of them hitting all the seahorses and hitting the secret dino, and then Agent Nine's lab had blowing up all the palm trees. And that's all the skill points. And now for the epilogue. Nancy wins gold at last. Curse of the Tail Snake. <laughs> Seals inventing squid boarding. It's actually a code where you can put it in to skate on a squid. The game of Wacka Bentley is born. <laughs> Rhinoc Prima Donna entertains Cloud Spires. The Bailey Gang finds an easy target. Ha ha! Take that, money bags! Leo and Amy compete for Sparks' affection. Deputy Holiday catches the notorious Nia Nia Gang. <laughs> the two old villains just hold a summit to discuss the Spyro problem. Bah. Hunter discovers babysitting is harder than it looks. Thank you for playing. We'll miss you. Alright, we did good. Now for the super bonus world. And away we go. This may be the longest video as it takes a while to beat the four challenges. Specifically the snowboard course. I'm going to see if I can get time to pass by faster than what I have to do on that. And here comes Bianca. Hey, you finally made it, Spyro. Hunter was a little worried about you when you went off to fight the sorceress, but... I always knew you'd beat her. This place is where the sorceress kept all her treasure. But after she was defeated, a bunch of thieves came and stole it. If you can catch the thieves, you're more than welcome to keep the treasure. Oh, by the way, Hunter is around here somewhere. He's been tinkering with one of his new toys all day and he wants to show it off. You should go see him. I hope the rest of the dragons will come back here someday. And there we go. Now let's go get some gems and some thieves. I don't know why they chose this music. I don't know. It's, it's from Lost Fleet. I didn't like the music. They could have done a lot better music, in my opinion. But, oh well. And each thief holds a good amount of gems. I think it's 150. Let's check really fast. Yep, each D holds about 150 gems. Take that, ha ha. Let's get these gems. We need 17,000 to get into there. Sixteen thousand again. There was our first location. We'll go to. Good grief! All the gems. That's the last section we need all 20,000. What in the world? Get out of here. What are you trying to do? Alright, 
how this last thief ought to do the trick before we can get into the last area. Whoa. Just be careful. Alright, that's all the gems we can get in here for now. Let's go to the next area. We unlocked with 16,000 gems. Hi, Spyro. Did you see Bianca? She was really worried about you when you went off to fight the sorceress. It was pretty funny. She tries to play it cool, but she was scared stiff until you came back safe. <laughs> I just finished fixing up an old submarine. Why don't you try taking it for a spin? Great! Hop aboard! Mm. Alright, in this area we gotta blow up seven submarines. The same ones from Lost Fleet. This time they don't drop any mines though, but they're just as, uh, they can be just as tricky. But they drop off a lot of gems this time. to this little lighthouse looking thing to exit the submarine. And now we can go to the uh, next section which we unlocked with 17,000 gems. Oops. That was an accident. <laughs> yeah, the last 5,000 gems are here and the last secret egg. Now this is the area that's going to take a while. Check it out. This is the world's fastest turbo snowboard course. The local champions are the Sasquatch Six, a gang of yetis on souped up snow discs. I bet that you could outrace the lot of them. If you win, we get a huge pile of treasure. If you lose, I have to slick down the whole course with my tongue. <laughs> so, ready to race? I'm not gonna race yet because I'm gonna collect some gems. Aw, oh, come on! You can take these guys! And show you a cool glitch that allows you to beat them really easily. But first I'm going to get the gems. So they don't distract me during the race. Or most of them anyway, some I can't get. Go ahead and run around the course. Get, all, get as many gems as you can. Just fly around. Kill as many crabs as you can get, that'll give you turbo. Go through as many blue stars as you can get because it'll give you a turbo as well. Crab. He wasn't very nice. Now I go back to this area. All 
right, here we go. Now I'm going to try and fast forward this part, or I'm going to try to get my friend to do that, but if not, I will go ahead and I will comment what area to skip to so you can quit doing this, but I'm going to just hit the blue star about 150 times. That way I can have a full boost for the entire three lap race, which you'll need to beat the Yetis because they're pretty quick. So, for just prepare. You don't remember, I want to write it down what area to skip ahead to, so I'll do that after I finish this. All right, let's go. <laughs> just for 13 and a half minute mark to avoid all this I'll write that down in the my description so you know what to avoid again sorry for that but it's just, it it's the surefire way to beat these guys because they're a lot tougher than the Rhinox you faced in Lost Fleet but now I'm just getting the rest of these gems Do any extra ones by accident because it'll just give you more of a boost. all the 
chance. For now. There's a couple we have to get on the snowboard before we can do anything about it. Oh, there's a couple of gems up there we can't get until we get the snowboard, so we'll get that after the race. So, ready to race? Now we can race. Right on! Just don't lose, or my tongue's gonna be a popsicle. And that's why I did it, because now I have a super long boost. Which is very, very helpful. That's why I did that so I could beat it the first time. Yes! <laughs> you this is funny. Them like a bunch of frost bitten, flat footed, molasses eating, lead pants wearing, cross eyed glacier trolls riding slabs of plywood with sandpaper on the bottom. <laughs> and we want some shiny stuff too. <laughs> All that, and he goes, and we want some shiny stuff too. Yes, we won just a, over a thousand gems for sure. I think it was 1,250. Yep, 1,250. Alright, now to get those last couple gems in here. the gyms. And it's this little uh, portal. 
which is Superfly and Super Flame for a very long time. And the Super Flame homes in, once he gets close enough. And they won't fire anything at you this time, so that's not a problem. One more sheep to get all the rest of the gems. There he is. There we go, that's all 5,000 gems in this level. And now we've got all the gems. And that's the last area, but right before I do, Warp home and we get a maxed out Sparks. Don't worry, this won't take long. I'm just going to run in here and grab the two Sparks. Now to warp back to the Super level and go back to the last door. teleport back back to the super bonus round so that's how warping ability comes in handy now we'll run back to that one egg or get to the where the egg's at this is the last little portal And that's why I wanted to fill up the sparks again, because i got to fight the sorceress again. I don't know how she did it, Spyro, but the sorceress must have survived that last battle. She's been waiting here all this time, saving up her magic to destroy you. Your best chance to defeat her is to borrow my flying saucer. I've cast some spells on it to give it extra firepower and unlimited flying time, but the rest is going to be up to you. You've come this far, Spyro. I know you can beat her. And now for the last battle. Let's get her. The best way to get her is to fire in front of her so she flies into your weapon. When she, when she stops, she's going to fire something, so dodge out of the way. dragon and this is the last video
And there you have it. That's the end of Spyro 3. I'm not making you watch those again, because we can watch them in the last one. Or the other... The Sorceress level. You're fighting it the first time. And there you have it. That's Spyro 3 completed. According to the Alice, 117%. Oops, hang on. Do a quick rundown. All the worlds, they're all gold, they're all finished. There's the secret level, and then there's the super bonus round. I'm not going to make you do all that, because that's ridiculous. And now we are done. Quick save of the game with 60 lives, 150 eggs, and all 20,000 gems. Alright. I'm done. Game Master Cody returning back to the main menu. That is Spyro 3, that is the Spyro Trilogy completed by me, and later on I'll upload my no-hit-run files as soon as I do those, but for now, I'm going to work on some other games. This is Game Master Cody signing out, and I'll see you all in my next videos, which will probably be uh, Crash Bandicoot, that would be my guess.